The French space program includes both civil and military space flight activities. It is the third oldest institutional space program in history, along with the USSR and the US, and the largest space program in Europe. Topic: <laughs> Background. Space travel has long been a significant ambition in French culture. From the Gobelin's 1664 tapestry representing a space rocket, to Jules Verne's 1865 novel De la Terre à la Lune and George Melly's 1902 movie Voyage dans la Lune, space and rocketry were present in French society long before the technological means appeared to allow the development of a space exploration program. During the late 18th century, Jean-François Palatre de Rosier, Jacques Charles and the Montgolfier brothers are seen as worldwide precursors and explorers of aeronautics, with the world record altitude then reached by a human at 7,016 metres feet performed by Joseph-Louis Gay-Lussac in 1804. Those names, their numerous students and their works will mark the early expertise of France's space program in all types of air balloons since. In the beginning of the 20th century, the origins of the French space program are tied to French technological developments in aerospace and astronautics, notably the nascent airplane and rocket industries. Robert S. Nolte Peltry appears as one of the early pioneers in space exploration design and rocket science. From 1908, he studied propulsion and space flight, without knowing the work of Russian mathematician Konstantin Sholkovsky at that time. He derived the mathematical equations for interplanetary flight, flight durations, and engine propulsion, and was later nominated president of the Chambre Syndicale des Industries Aeronautiques Trade Association of Aircraft Industries in 1912. From 1935 to 1939 he designed a high-altitude sounding rocket, but World War II interrupted his plans. German experts believed that the rocket could have reached its design goal of 60 miles Esnault Peltry convinced physicist Jean-Jacques Barr, a pioneer in rocket propulsion, to collaborate on the design of a self-propelled cryogenic rocket. Between 1927 and 1933, Barr did extensive research and developed a rocket that could reach the upper atmosphere and space, the EA-41 EOLE see picture. History The beginning of the institutional French space program dates back to 1946 when, right after World War II, the Laboratoire de Recherches Ballistiques et Aerodynamics was created in Vernon to develop the next generation of rockets, partly taking advantage of the German development of the V-2 rocket. Before this and during the war, as Free France continued to function, the EA-41 was tested and improved by military personnel, from October 1942 through to 1945.22 May 1952, Veronique N1 is successfully launched from the Saharan Desert. In 1958, President Charles de Gaulle directed the creation of several space research committees. In 1959, the Comité d'études spatiales was born under the supervision of Pierre Auger. In 1961, de Gaulle signed the creation of the Centre National d'études spatiales to coordinate French space activities. Development of Western Europe's first carrier rocket, the Diamant, began in 1962, first launched in Algeria. November 26, 1965, at 15 h 47 Minnesota and 21s, Asterix, the first French satellite in space, is successfully launched by a Diamant rocket from the Algerian desert. It is active for two consecutive days before ceasing to transmit. In 1965, France's space launch pads and CNES settled in Kourou. 
In 1973, France impulsed the creation of the European Space Agency and became its first contributor. The French space budget, although stagnant since the early 2000s in constant euros, remains in absolute terms the largest of the member countries of the European Space Agency (ESA) and the second largest national budget after the United States of America at 2.33 billion euros. In 2004, this budget stood at 1.698 billion euros, with 685 million being transferred to the Paris-based ESA for the programs conducted under its supervision. The Ariane rocket family is France's own launcher family, which use has been extended to the whole of ESA's member countries. Its spaceport, near Kourou, was selected in 1964 to host all of France's launches. Later, it was selected as ESA's launch site. Before being in French Guiana, France's space launches were made from Algeria, in Colombesha and Hamagir. The French space program thus benefits from the best ground position for launch sites on Earth, as its position 5.3 degrees north of the equator allows rockets to gain propulsion from the spinning of the Earth when launched eastward and save on propellant. No other governmental launch sites allow this level of physical parameters. It is also able to launch satellites into polar orbits from this spaceport. <laughs> <laughs> launch statistics As of 2017, Kourou counts amongst the spaceports with the highest percentage of successful launches, both successive and overall. Here is a chronology of all orbital launches from the Kourou spaceport since 1970, under the French and European space programs. <laughs> Flights by launcher Topic: Flights by mission outcome. Charts include all orbital launches from Kourou. Sounding rockets are excluded. Historical data: Launch tables from list of Ariane launches, Soyuz Street, Vega, and Encyclopædia Aeronautica. Last updated on the 28th of October 2018. Topic: Collaborations. France's public involvement in space technologies is also deep into European programs such as Columbus and Automated Transfer Vehicle through Thales Alenia, headquartered in Cannes. The French space program includes collaborations between its institutions and other countries, European as well as other foreign countries and institutions JAXA, ISRO, NASA, CNSA, in projects ranging from the Herschel Space Observatory to Bepicolombo, Saral, Altica and the Planck Space Observatory. In 2016, for the COP21, CNES and ISRO impulsed a groundbreaking and worldwide plan to unite Unite all space agencies for the gathering of satellite information and detection on greenhouse gas emissions, allowing more precise measurements and decision making. In addition, CNES and ESA have a strong background of collaboration, notably building the largest single satellite surveillance program for Earth's biological monitoring, Copernicus program. Topic. Future projects and international collaborations The construction of the Ariane 6 launcher is underway, after being approved by all ESA countries in 2016. It is designed by Airbus Safran Launchers. Since 2010, France and Russia have been collaborating on several space missions, including long run science programs like Cardium, dedicated to monitoring cardiovascular health in cosmonauts. CNES has provided essential instruments cameras on an Indian mission to the Moon, launched in January 2018. 
A consortium led by the CNES also built Argos instruments on board the Indian mission OceanSat-3 in 2018. A third collaboration between the ISRO and French space actors Laboratoire d'études spatiales et d'instrumentation en astrophysique Lesia, CNRS, Université Paris VI and Université Paris 7 has seen the launch of PICSAT in January 2018, a nano-satellite that surveys the Beta Pictoris star for exoplanets. In 2018, CNES and JAXA will launch the Bapicolombo Missison to study the magnetic magnetic field of Mercury and map its surface. In 2018, Solar Orbiter will be launched by NASA, containing instruments designed by CNES and other French industrial actors. Starting in 2018, the CFOSAT China France Oceanography Satellite will be placed into Earth orbit to study ocean surface winds and waves. After President Macron's state visit to China in January 2018, the French-Chinese collaboration in space was increased significantly and includes more in-depth collaboration, notably in the sharing of CFOSAT data, meant to study oceans and their interaction with the atmosphere, as well as in the SVOM program. The French mission Taranus with international laboratories collaboration will be also launched in 2018. It is the first satellite designed to observe lightning at altitudes of 20 to 100 kilometers. The French Space Agency was also responsible for the construction of the main instruments on the French German American InSight mission to Mars, scheduled for launch on the 5th of May 2018 and due for arrival in November 2018. In 2021 France and Germany will launch their collaborative mission Merlin, due to study methane levels and concentrations in the Earth's atmosphere. 2022 will mark the launch of JUICE Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer. It will study Jupiter and three of its moons with a view to gaining new insights into how life emerged. This mission is a collaboration of CNES with CNRS and ESA. See also People Pedro Paulet Joseph Louis Lagrange Pierre Simon Laplace Augustin Jean Fresnel Jean Yves Le Gaulle Francois Arago French Space Renorts Companies and Organizations CNES European Space Agency Airbus Safran Arianespace Astrium Thales Thales Alenia Space Aerospatia Dassault ISAESUPAERO École Nationale Supérieure de Mécanique et d'Aérotechnique École Nationale Supérieure d'Ingénieurs de Poitiers École Nationale de l'Aviation Civile France Aerotech École Nationale Supérieure d'Electronique, Informatique, Telecommunications, Mathematique et Mécanique de Bordeaux Locations Guiana Space Center Aerospace Valley Toulouse Space Center Musée Aéronautique et Spatial Safran Cannes Mondeleu Space Center Bureau des Longitudes <laughs>